Greg Alley live at Belle Isle with you. Grand Prix weekend has officially kicked off. The drivers are all here, and it all started with Team Penske kicking things off. In the middle of it all, Indy 500 winner Juan Pablo Montoya. Five times he told me today he is weird because he's already turning the page on his Indy 500 win. He said he wants to win in Detroit. He wants to do it for Team Penske, his owner, Roger, and for his kids because he said one time in front of his kids winning wasn't enough. Last weekend was the very first time his kids have ever remembered seeing Dad win. Yeah, having my, you know, my kids, my boy hadn't, you know, he, the, only, the only time he seen me win live was in uh, Formula One when he was like a year old. Oh. So, and how old is he now? Ten, and he races. So for for him to be there it was pretty cool. To see Dad win, I'm sure that makes a, a big striking event. I know, it's, it's pretty cool. And as all the drivers came in today, they also gave a few of us a ride of a, of a lifetime. Our Justin Rose got to sit in an actual IndyCar, a two-seater. He suited up and got to see the track from a unique perspective. Martin Plowman, former IndyCar driver, is going to take me around this track on Belle Isle in this. It's a beast. It's a beast. Martin, tell us a little bit about this ride. Uh, well, basically what you see is an actual race car that was designed to carry a passenger in the back. 650 horsepower, V6, uh, twin turbo Honda engine in the back. Uh, it's rapid. So for someone who's never been in a car like this, what should I expect today? Hold on tight and try not to scream like a baby, because uh, it's, it's one hell of a ride out there. That was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good man, though. That was a little uh, different experience than I uh, might have imagined. You did a very nice job. I'm still alive. He's very good. <laughs> Still alive, but I'm not sure if his pants survived. I'm just kidding, Justin. You're very brave. Tigers.